everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. Listen to this, all you youngsters. Did you know that you can get a handy-sized flask of Horlicks malted milk tablets for only 10 cents? The very same delicious tablets that lots of racing motorists and aviators use to keep themselves on the go. Well, it's a fact. That's all that a pocket flask of these grand chocolate-flavored tablets cost. If you've never had any before, tell your mother that, and I'm sure she'll get you some. You'll certainly go for those tablets, too. They're swell. Ask your mother to get you a flask, and don't forget to tell her that Horlick's tablets won't spoil your appetite. Tell her how wholesome they are, too. She can get them from the druggist in both natural and chocolate flavors. And now... Let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Well, it looks like Lum and Abner have finally hit upon a good idea for a new business venture. The Pine Ridge Planetarium, their new picture show, is progressing nicely and should soon be open to the public. As we look in on the old fellows today, we find them down at the Jotham Down store discussing final arrangements for their formal opening. Listen. Well, we better be getting some orders from someplace. First thing you know, we'll have a picture show already open up, you know, a moving picture. Well, Abner, I told you I don't know where to order them from. I've looked through all the mail order catalogs over there at the house, and none of them ain't got them for sale. Or I can't find none. Well, it'd be a shame now if the building's about finished if we couldn't find out where they sell them. You know, I believe the best thing for us to do, Abner, is to call up that fella in there at the county seat and ask him where he buys his mask. Yeah, yeah, I could do that, I reckon. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> Let me step to the phone here. I'll just call him up right now. Yeah, I asked him how Cedric's getting along too long. Huh? I say, I asked him how Cedric's getting along too. Oh, yeah, he ought to have learned all about running them machines by now. Yeah, I don't know. Cedric's pretty slow about picking stuff up. Oh, he might not have no talents for that picture show business. Hello? Uh, Central? Will you ring the Lyric Theater, please, Mom? All right. Yeah, uh, tell him what we named their show, too, while you're in it, Mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I believe we've got them skinned on the name. Oh, yeah. Hello? It is. Well, good. Uh, just who I was calling. Uh, let me speak to the manager, please, Mom. Yeah. Mom? Oh, this is Lum Edwards, uh, manager of the Pine Ridge Planetarium. Planetarium? Why, it's a picture show. Yes, Mom. All right. Go on, she's got to know everything. Acts like she's scared to death. Something's going to happen that she ain't in on. Cue Ross, I reckon. Every time I call up, she wants to know who I am and all about me. Yeah, well, women is awful curious critters. They're the best the same way. Hello? Why, well, tolerably well. How's yourself? Uh-huh. Uh, how's Cedric getting along in there? He is. Well, that's fine. I'm proud to hear it. They said it's catching right on to running that machine there. Well. Why, what I called you up about, uh, where do you buy your moving picture shows at? Well, I mean the film. The pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're looking for him in there today, huh? Well, I wish you'd send him on out here. Uh, tell him we've got to buy some moving pictures from somebody and... Yeah. All right. Much obliged to you. All right. Goodbye. He said there's a regular drummer that sells them things. Right. Says he's supposed to be in there today, and if he shows up, he's going to send him on out here to see us. Well, fine. Uh, regular drummer sells them, huh? That's what he says. I figured there must be some way to get them without writing to the actor's firm. Oh, yeah. That'd be a nuisance. Well, let's see. We better be deciding what pictures we want before that fella gets here, then. Well, maybe we'll better wait and see what he's got first, huh? Well, he'll have all kinds of them, more than likely. We just have to tell him what we want and let him get them for us. See, different actors is in different pictures. Yeah, well, let's be sure and get one with Charlie Chaplin's in it, Mom. He's my favorite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's a case, that fella. He's always struck me funny for some reason. Get yourself in the worst mix-up, looks like. <laughs> you don't use no judgment to trouble with him. No. I hate to laugh at a fella's troubles that way, but I'll swan he'll do some things that looks like anybody would just have sense or know better. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to laugh, too. Special that walk of his. Yeah. <laughs> but 
expecting a body ought to make fun of how anybody looks, though. No, no fella can help how he looks. No. Well, sir, I seen the out doing this thing in Kansas City while I was in there. I ever seen in my life. <laughs> they had a picture show in there with a mouth acting in it. A mouse? Yes, sir. Mickey Mouse, they call it. And it's downright astonishing what they've learned that little rascal to do. <laughs> she acts might not like a human. Well, I do know. Talks and everything else. Talks? A mouse? Yes, sir. They've learned him to talk just as good as me or you either one. Well, I'd love to see him. <laughs> oh, he's the beatingest thing you ever seen. <laughs> Walks around on his hind legs all the time. Wears clothes and everything. Got a little suit for him. Well, <laughs> shoes. I know that that'd be funny having a mouse running around the house that could talk, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, to tell you the truth, Abner, I don't much think he's a sure enough mouse. They claim it is, but I think I kicked on to it. Yes. I believe it's a man dressed up like one. A uh, man dressed up like a mouse, huh? Yeah, it stands to reason they couldn't learn no mouse to do the things he done. But I wish you could have shown him. <laughs> well, why don't we get a picture with him in it, then? Well, if this fella that's coming out here's got one, we will. I think we better get it for a little later on, though. I don't think it'd be best to have it right at first. Well, why not? I'm anxious to see it, Mom. Well, it just wouldn't look right to have our grand opening and use a picture with a mouse doing the acting. That wouldn't look right. No. We want to get just as big a picture as we can for that first night. I thought they were all about the same size, them pictures. Well, they're all the same size, but some of them's what they call big pictures. Extra. Well, now, we don't want to get one too big for that screen that we got down there, Mom. Well, that won't make no difference, Abner. They'll all fit that screen. When I say big, uh, that ain't got nothing to do with the size of it. You mean when you call something big, it, that ain't got nothing to do with the size of it? Mm, not in the moving picture business, it ain't. When you say it's a big picture, you mean it's a extra good one. Well, they ain't got more crazy names for things here lately. Looks like I'm just going to have to learn to talk all over again. Oh, well, you get used to them expressions. You just listen to me close, and you catch on to it all right. Now, I see right now... I... Must have been just natural cut out for the show business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sir, I believe if there's one thing that we're going to make a success out of, Ron. Oh, yeah. The things have sure been running smooth. Yeah, they sure have. Awful smooth. <laughs> it ain't been over a week hardly since we first decided to go into it. Here we might not be ready to open up already. Well, <laughs> for the land sake, huh? look who's coming in out there. Oh, well, for goodness sake. First time I saw him since I got back from Kansas City. No, he ain't been coming around much here late, thank goodness. All right. You get up and wait on him, Abner. Him and me can't get along with him. No. Well, howdy, Squire. Yeah, come in, Squire. Come yeah, in. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. And what can we do for you, Squire? Why, not a thing, Abner, not a thing. Uh, keep your seat. Uh, you thought I'd drop over and loaf with you men for a while. Well, sit down, Squire, sit down. And drag up that box. Yes, yes, uh, thank you, Tom. <clears throat> hey, tell me that you fellas are going to open up a picture show here in Pine Ridge. Yeah, yeah, we'll have her going in a few days now, I hope. Yes, well, I was just over there where they remodeling the building for you. It's going to look all right, too, yes. You think it's all right? Oh, yes, believe it is, Tom. Well, thank you, Squire. I think it's going to look right nice myself. Well, sir, you know, you men just uh, beat me out of an idea there. Beat you out of an idea. Uh, yes, I had the same thing in mind myself. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, that's my old business, uh, theater. I was in the show business long before I came to this part of the country. I opened up the first picture show in San Trady, Missouri, years ago. Put it in the old opera house there. Well, I do know. <laughs> well, that's one business I never knowed you'd been in, Squire. Oh, yes, I know the picture show business from A to Z. You know it where, Squire? Why, uh, uh, what was it, Abner? Nothing, Squire. Go ahead. What was it you started to say? Well, I was just wondering, uh, uh, how would you men like to have a third partner in this uh, picture show that you're putting in? Uh, you ought to have somebody in the business and know something about it. Well, I don't much think we'd want to take in no third partners. No, oh, I know that blame well we would, and I don't think nothing about it. You see, Squire, we get to dividing them profits three ways, and they wouldn't be nice much for none of us, sir. Yeah. Well, but now, along with uh, my knowledge of the show business, oh, I can make more than enough extra profits to pay my share. Uh, how do you figure that, Squire? 
ain't much a fella can do, so I'd just take up the tickets and run the film. Yes, well, you learn that there's a lot more to it than that, Lum. It takes showmanship. You've got to figure out different ways to get people to come out. I like on this opening night you're going to have. That ought to be one of the biggest events in the history of Pine Ridge. The opening of our first picture show. Oh, yeah. Why, you ought to have this whole countryside plastered with advertisements. If I had charge of that thing, I'd have the SRO sign out every night of the week. Well, that ain't the name of it, though. It's the uh, Pine Ridge Planetarium. Well, uh, what I mean by the SRO sign, Lum, is standing room only. Oh. I'd have every seat in that place sold every night. Standing room only. Yeah, yeah. we ought to have one of them signs. That's one thing I overlooked. I don't know, uh, Granny Squire, but what you would make us a good third partner. You you brung up some pints there that shows you know what you're talking about. Well, all. now, just a minute there, Lom, before you go any farther. I've got something to say about that. I'm a partner in this thing myself. Oh, yeah, and of course, you'll have to be satisfaction with that. Right? Well, it ain't satisfaction with me. I'll tell you that right now. In the first place, I don't want no third partner. And if I did, I wouldn't want Squire. Why, well, I mean, you hurt Squire's feet. Well, I don't see any reason why you should feel that way, Abner. Well, maybe you can't, but I can. I've had all the dealings with you that I want to have, and I don't want to have a thing to do with anything that you're mixed up in. Abner, Abner. Well, now, I'm just trying to do you men a favor, Abner. Well, you ain't going to get no third interest in our picture show, so you may as well just get that idea out of your head right now. Well, all right, if that's the way you feel about it. But I gave you a chance. I'll tell you right now, if you men don't let me in with you, I'm going to open up a picture show right here in Pine Ridge and run competition to you. I'll run you out of business. I'll close that show of yours up for no other reason why. And just as things were running so smoothly, Squire Skimp had to put in an appearance. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's something I especially want you all to hear about. It's an actual advertisement of the Peacock Soda Fountain, which recently appeared in the Daily Courier of Oxnard, California. Here's what it said. Listen. Peacock's express appreciation. Months ago, after critical investigation and analytical tests, we were fully convinced Horlick's malted milk is vastly superior to the cheaper brands of malted milk because Horlick's is made of fresh, full cream, whole milk, wheat, and barley malt, and does not contain any cheap foreign ingredients. Since using Horlicks, the original malted milk, our malted milk sales have more than tripled, proving our customers are discriminating and appreciative of our efforts to supply best quality exclusively. We serve a better malted milk, and despite the fact that we are obliged to pay more for this quality product, we do not charge you anymore. Well, I think that advertisement speaks for itself, doesn't it? It exactly coincides with what I've always said about Horlick's malted milk. If your favorite soda fountain doesn't feature it, ask them to get Horlick's for you. This is Carlton Brickard, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlick's, who now bid you all good night and good health.